Okay, first of all, my name is Jim Kuroko. Uh, I were sitting in Hartshorn, Oklahoma, United States of America. Uh, I want to welcome everyone to what the locals call Russian Hill. Uh, there's not a whole lot of written good documentation on a little church in Hartshorn. Uh, Originally Hartsarn Choctaw Nation Indian Territory. According to the naturalization records, the United States Census records, I said this was Russian Hill. I have found two families on this hill that are actually from Russia. Uh, they are from Russia, but their cultural background was Lithuanians from Russia. Approximately 1892, uh, a number of people came from the Austrian-Hungarian Empire and were to work in the coal mines of the Choctaw Nation and Indian Territory. Everything you see right here in front of you is original from this church built in 1917. Nothing has been replaced. Notice the three cupolas at the top. You have the three above the door here. You have the three above the, the windows above there. Notice the, 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 the first set of doors. You have divided into three, and then you have it, it, an Orthodox cross there. Orthodox Christians are Trinity people. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All Orthodox churches, if they're built as an Orthodox church, face towards the east, towards Jerusalem. All right, uh, uh, church is divided into three parts. Part one, part two, and then part three. The Holy Holy is the back part of the church. These windows here have been replaced. Notice the three again. Now, they could not pattern the, the original uh, glass from the original, those. These were replaced in the 1960s, 1960s. In fact, uh, a few years ago, I gave a tour to this church to the graduates of Phyllis Wheatley High School in Hartshorn, Oklahoma. Hartshorn was a southern state, so we naturally had segregated the schools. And Phyllis Wheatley School is just a little ways from this school. And one of the young men at that time, he was probably about 79 years old, he apologized to me. He says, Jim, when I was a little boy, I come up here and shot some of your windows out with, with his BB gun. That's the story there. The third part of the church is right here. And that is original from 1917. I probably should have started this. This church in Hartshorn, Oklahoma is the only church, excuse me, the only location in the city of Hartshorn that is a national historic site. The Oklahoma Historical Society, they were historic architects. When they saw this, when they saw this, they automatically put that in this church. Oh, that, that does it right there. The Holy of Holy, the back part of the church, is rounded. And this, the way they did this brickwork, uh, fascinated me. Now, these have been since 1917, and you can put your hands on these bricks, and these bricks are still hard. Uh, now, per my father, Andrew Kirilko, uh who was born in Choctaw Nation in Territory in 1907, uh, he witnessed the building of this building, this church, excuse me, uh, and he said, I can't document this for my father, oral history, uh, that these bricks were killed or baked here at this site. You go to any town in, in southeastern Oklahoma, you'll find the bricks crumble. Orthodox, we cross ourselves in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. The Orthodox believe that we cross ourselves because it says in the scriptures that Jesus sit at the right hand of the Father. All right, here we go here. This is the cornerstone of this church. All right, now, there's the Cyrillic. 
St. Russian Orthodox Greek Catholic Saint, St. Cyril, I pronounce it Cyril, not Curl. If you're Russian, you might pronounce it as Curl. And Methodius, not Methodist. I've had so many people say Methodist. 1897 to 1916. Oh, old man, you just got through saying this church was built in 1917. That is correct. But the first church up here on this hill and Hearts on Choctaw Nation Indian Territory was built in 1897. I'm gonna repeat, they had a, built a church in Hearts on Choctaw Nation Indian Territory, 1897. Now, through documentation stories out of newspapers, uh, there was a house that the people met in before the church was built. All right, I call your attention to the building over here to his left. At one time, the city of Hartsarn, Oklahoma, had five elementary schools within the city limits. Now, today, we're a little bit town, maybe 2,000, but the coal mines brought booms to this town. Uh, one, the Roman Catholics had a school called Holy Rosary. Number two, Hartsarn had a segregated school called Phyllis Wheatley. Number three was that the north side of Hartsarn had an elementary school because the kids couldn't cross the railroad tracks. Uh, south side had an elementary school in Hartsarn. And last but not least, there was a Orthodox school right at that location. The people settled around this church and all different directions again from the Austrian Hungarian Empire where the house is there and the cars are parked the family was called the Zulias which means cuckoo bird uh, there's a vacant lock on the side there it was Barnas there was a number of families of Barnas here not related not related uh, at least in the United States I can't go back to to the Austrian and Hungarian Empire, the province of Galicia. We got a cynic house over there where it, at one time. Pomarchik right here. Uh, you got another family of Barnas right there where that vacant lot is, not, not where that trailer house is. You got a Wanko over here. On the other side of those trees is, was the once home place. In fact, uh, uh, there's ties to now Eastern Oklahoma uh, State College, uh, uh, the Dr. Wonsick is the president of the university through her husband's side. On the other side of those trees was a Niski, or Niskayu, uh, they changed it. On the other side of that was a Slota. Uh, then we got, oh, just all around this church to give you all these names. Uh, third generations, I'm a second generation. Okay, Kriokos where the trees are is my home place. Uh, on the other side of you, Kupich, uh, Jakober, they changed their names. Uh, over there is outside the city limits of Hartsarn. The best of my knowledge, we're talking about 72 to 76 families, males, males, males. Now we talk about families, some of them had 10 kids. All right, sir. All right, this is the first part of the church. Uh, everything you see here is from 1917 or a little bit later, okay? Uh, these are what's called icons, or religious paintings. Uh, the next thing I need to tell you, I, as an Orthodox Christian, do not, do not pray to that picture. While I am praying, I'm thinking, here's Jesus of Nazareth. He uh, let me have the opportunity coming here to this earth to, to have a hereafter. This originally stood right there uh, at that location. And when heating and air was put in this church, uh, it was moved over to this side. This is a unique icon. This is Jesus of Nazareth. This is St. Cyril and Methodius. And this is a unique icon, icon excuse me, uh, we call her the Theotokos. We use the Greek term, Theotokos. Some of y'all call her Virgin Mary if you're Roman Catholic. 
But this is a neat, neat one because if you look real close on her cheek, she has a little dash in there. Now, I have asked bishops of the Orthodox Church. I have asked numerous priests. They cannot tell me why these settlers in Hartshorn, Choctaw, and Nation Indian Territory thought this was a special icon to put it as the first icon you get into this church. Now, the story behind that is the Greek monk was saying that the Theotokos has not did anything for me, and so he slashed and put that blood up, up, up on that painting. Uh, but I can't. Now, you gotta understand, the, the coal mines of southeastern Oklahoma were the most dangerous, quote, mines in the world on how much coal was produced versus how many lost their life in the coal mines. In McAllister, Oklahoma, at Chadwick Park, there is a minor memorial that lists the names of the coal miners killed in southeastern Oklahoma. My grandfather is on that name. He was killed August the 26th, 1908. I've already told you my father was born in 1907. So uh, I have no memory of my grandfather and my father did not either. First set of doors. There's gonna be a second set of doors and then a third set of doors. I could let anyone we find that first set of doors. Uh, this is historically speaking, except a Muslim, uh, per my father. Uh, you have to understand we're talking about Eastern Europe. Per my father and some of the old men, they would get to give their life to keep a Muslim out of church property. Now the second set of doors, you would be asked once upon a time if you were a baptized Christian and then if you were a baptized Christian, not, not necessarily an Orthodox, you could come through the second set of doors. If not, you had to stay right here. Now at this church, there was a lodge called St. Michael the Archangel. It was protectors of the Orthodox faith. It was also an insurance company, similar to the Latin church has the Knights of Columbus. All right, now you're inside the second part of the church. This is rare in an Orthodox church. Uh, in the 1960s, my father, uh, everybody was old, probably as old as I am right now. You stand during the Orthodox services. Those two benches is from 1917. If a person got tired, they could sit on those benches. But this is rare, okay? This is rare. The, a lot of the new churches have the, the, the benches in them, uh, the pews in them. Once upon a time in this church in Hartford, Oklahoma, the men stood on this side, or the females stood on this side. Uh, not necessarily today, 2021. All the icons on this side have great relationship to Jesus of Nazareth, uh, and then the Theotokos on this side are God bearers. Notice the three steps, it goes for the Trinity again. Notice the, the side over here, your Orthodox cross. That's all, this is original folks from 1917. Uh, over here, same kind of things. Now, the middle set of doors I cannot open. Uh, a deacon can, can open or a priest can open. That's the Holy of Holies back there. In the Orthodox Church, we do not believe in any kind of organs, excuse me, oh, our pianos, only the human senses. What I mean, seeing, touching, smelling, hearing, uh, is used in expressing your religious beliefs. Uh, the human voice, the canter, the singing, so on and so forth, uh, and the smelling, the incense, candles and so on and so forth. I come by, by, came by a local young man named Mike Kupitz. Mike Kupitz grew up in Hartsman, Oklahoma. Uh, he actually was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Came here as a young man and, and his father worked in the coal mines. 
that is Mike Kubitz, that is an oil on canvas. Uh, God the Father, sitting at the right hand is God the Son, and then the dove representing the Holy Spirit. That is St. Nicholas, which you call Santa Claus, patron saint of the uh, Russia. Uh, that is Gabriel. Those are Mike Kupitz's from Hartshorn. Hartshorn, uh, he later go in his later life, he goes, he's a, 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 he does a large number of churches in Illinois, Pennsylvania, uh, Missouri, uh, Michigan, 1920, he signed it. <laughs> a story behind that, uh, he came to visit my father and, and we came up to church and I was a little runt, but I, I remember it. And, and he says, Andrew, that's my father. He said, don't tell anybody I painted in the mud. Daddy pointed to where he signed every one of these paintings. Now, uh, Mike Kupitz lived in Hartshorn, uh, this side of the railroad track by Lindley's grocery store back in, the, back, back in there. All right, that's Archangel Michael. And that's St. Cyril and Methodius. Uh, I personally believe that Archangel Michael is the saint that this church really documented itself because one, the lodge was named for, and there's so many pictures of Michael, the Archangel, in this church. Let me take a look. 1920 also, okay? Most Orthodox churches have the four major books of the scripture, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, and then you've got Gabriel, the Annunciation, telling the Theotokos that she's going to give birth to Jesus and Mary there. The cross that's behind the altar, altar, excuse me, uh, at funerals, the oldest male in the family carries this around the church three times. Uh, this is also a Mike Kupitz. You have the ladder, the spear that got Jesus, his clothes, uh, hammer and nails, the vinegar or wine, whatever they got to him, rolling in the dice for his clothes. You have the crown of thorns. He was beaten uh, uh, the whip of nine tails. The whips yeah. of nine tails. Uh, now, Orthodox believe this is not the shroud of Turin, but the Orthodox believe his face was wiped by uh, help me on the scriptures there, who, who, who she was. And then you got the cock crowing, Peter, you're gonna throw me out. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, the crypt itself. And then you got Mike Kupitz right there. What's the date on that? 1923. 1923. Why did it make me stir this way? And he says, when you go ring the bell, the devil won't be following you. <laughs> Everything up here is original from 1917. <sighs> All right, that's the, that's the regular bell. Mm -hmm. This is the clapper of the bell. I ring the bell uh, before service. When the, when the priest comes out to start with the incense to bless the church till he gets inside the door. Then I ring the bell when he uh, uh, blesses the wine and the bread become body of Jesus and Nazareth. That's the net normal during liturgy times. Uh, the tradition in Hearts Arm Choctaw Nation Indian Territory in Oklahoma is that a person dies and they're buried from this church. If a person dies and they're buried from this church uh, before the internet, before the telephone, that the church bell will be rang till they're buried and in the ground at 6 a.m., at 12 noon, and at 6 p.m. Uh, I did it for a number of years. My father did it before me. Uh, the longest I've had, a lady was 95 years old. And they uh, took about seven days before she was buried. So I was up here at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and at 12, at 6 p.m. to ring the bell. I was told it took me 15 minutes by, by a football coach who lives close to this building <laughs> and I woke him up. You just run my sound, see that echo? 
So you had to ring it 95 times? That's why they love it more. She's 96 years old. Oh my. It's a good workout. 15 minutes. Yeah. Hear that echo? Yeah.